<gasps> oh my gosh, I fixed the lighting problem. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna start this video again. Oh, that is so much better. Oh, I knew there was something wrong with it. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the third video in my new note taking series. This video is on how to take notes for maths and I've already filmed two videos in this series and those are on how to take notes for economics and chemistry and this one is on maths and then I have two more videos coming on English and physics. So there will be five videos in total but this one is on maths so let's get into it. Now I think maths is probably the hardest subject to take notes for like it's just it's not like a science subject or a humanities subject where you can just there's so much information and you just condense it and put it in your notes it's a bit different to that but this is how i take notes for it so basically the first thing i do is i will go to the syllabus document and look through all of the dot points on what i need to know and make sure i can do all of the stuff that i need to be able to do for the test and this is just a really important thing for you to do for any subject because you're going to be tested on the syllabus points so you need to make sure you know how to do them and understand whatever it is they're asking you to understand and then to make my notes I'll just go through so in class we get this like booklet of notes for each maths topic that we just go through in class and there'll be information on the topic and how to do stuff and then we'll there'll be some examples that we all do together as a class the teacher does on the board and we kind of copy it down and do that as a class and then we go off and do the exercises in the textbook on our own so to make my notes I will go through the booklet of class notes and write down any important information or formulas that I need to know um, so my notes for maths actually aren't very long for each topic because there's not that much stuff you need to write but I'll just write important, I don't know, important information like, like, let me, let me just consult my maths notes. Um, like here I have direct proportion, um, straight line through the origin and then y equals kx. Basically that's saying that for direct proportion the graph has to have a straight line through the origin and the equation for direct proportion is y equals kx. So you can see there's not too much substance to that subtopic of the notes because you, there's not that much stuff you need to write but it's just the really important information like that and I'll just go through the booklet and put down all the important information and I will also include some important examples that we've done in our notes if there's an example that I struggled with or that I think like should be included or an example that seems to be coming up quite a lot or an example that I don't know any important examples that I think I should include I put throughout my notes under the corresponding subtopics and then once I have made my notes using the information from the booklet and the examples I will go through and highlight any formulas that are not on the data sheet so in year 11 and 12 we get given a data sheet with most of the formulas that we need to know but there are some um, like that direct proportion formula. That's not really a that's not really a formula But there are some formulas that aren't on the data sheet, which is annoying But you, that means that you need to memorize them So I highlight only the ones that aren't on the data sheet Basically, I just go through and highlight everything that I need to memorize and the things that I need to memorize for the test are the formulas that aren't on the data sheet and any really important info so it is very important that I know that direct proportion graphs are a straight line through the origin so I would highlight that but any other kind of stuff that's not that important I won't highlight you know yeah and by highlighting the really important information this makes it really easy for me when it comes to the exam because in our maths exams we're allowed to take in like two A4 sheets of notes that we just write ourselves and so when it comes to the end of year exam and I need to write those notes I will just go through all of the topic notes that I've written throughout the year and put all the highlighted information which is the really important stuff onto those page of notes that I will then take into the exam so it makes that process at the end of the year a lot easier and I'll also in my notes I'll highlight the 
like really important examples and then those examples will also be transferred onto the sheets that I take into my exam at the end of the year. So that really helps speed that process up in the exam season and I find that really helpful. So yeah, this has been quite a short video but that is basically how I take my notes for maths. Just to recap it all, I'll just go through my class notes and write down the important information and formulas and any examples that I've found really helpful or tend to crop up a lot. Um, and then I will go through those notes again and highlight the information that I really, really need to memorise for the test, any formulas that aren't on the data sheet, and the most important examples. And then my notes are done. <laughs> so that is how I make my notes for maths. I think for maths subjects it's very important that you don't spend too much time making notes because they're really not that useful. Definitely make notes, like make a page of notes or something. My notes for all my math subjects are only like one side of a page because there's not that much information I need to know. Yeah, for maths it's definitely a lot more important to be practicing and doing practice questions and past papers and practice tests and exercises from your textbook. Um, practice, practice, practice for maths is so much more important than making notes. Yeah, if you find yourself the night before a maths test and you haven't done any study, I would prioritise doing past papers and practice tests over making notes. Um, yeah, I think that's more important. It's important for all subjects, but even more so for maths. So yeah, don't spend too long on your notes, but if you've got time, then definitely just make a page or half a page of important information that you want to remember. Um, so yeah, that is how I make my notes for maths. I really hope this video helps some of you. I know I find it quite difficult to know what to make notes on for maths because it's just a bit of a weird subject to make notes for. But I hope this video helped you out. Make sure to let me know if it did by giving it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I am still in the midst of my note taking series. We have two more videos to go and two videos are already up so you can go and check them out. I'll link them somewhere up here or down in the description box or you can just check them out by clicking on my channel. But yeah, I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video which will be on how to take notes for English which is another subject that's quite hard to take notes for. So yeah, see you then. Bye!